Hey everybody, welcome back to AM Northwest. We're getting stuff ready here to make sure that you can clean out any problems you have on your upholstery, your chairs, and things at home. If you have a stain, one of the favorite pieces of furniture, and you believe it's ruined for good, it may not be, you can fix it. And here to help us out from Checkmate Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning is George Grijalva. Hi, George. Hey, good morning, Carl. George. Hi, Helen. George is really out of good. breath getting really this stuff ready for us, okay? Yeah. I guess what we want to show everybody is how they can do it at home right. first. Right. So we got some stains on a chair there for you. We got some really bad stains on a chair, but the thing that they want to do is if the stain happens right away on their upholstery, this is the best thing to use. I use them all the time. Baby wipes. Baby, Baby wipes. wipes. Exactly. So what you want to do... a type of stain or any stain? Any stain. What you can do is use the shop vac like what you used to do and suck it up if there's a lot of liquid. Right. But then if there's any stain left, you use your baby wipes and you just wipe it really good look at that i'm almost getting that off just with some baby wipes yeah, we know it's that one's been there for a couple of years for right? a long time oh, yeah. then you want to use your hair dryer this is the secret if you don't use the hair dryer you're going to get this lignant which is a browning circle yeah if you dry it right away with your hair dryer once you get it oh. all wet and get the stain out really especially on hazian cottons that's what you're going to want to do and what i've got here is we've been doing a color migration test and this is what your professionals are going to do. And only 2% of your companies will ever touch upholstery because it's very, very sensitive. Yeah. You've got your um, silks. You've got your Haitian cottons. If it's synthetic, you can do anything you want to do to it. But on something like this, it's a cotton. What I did is yeah. I did a color migration test to see if we got any bleeding. We like to use the word color migration because bleeding is kind of ugly. We got no color migration. And then so what we'll so do... there's no color on, the, on that red. Exactly. Okay. So it's not going to bleed on us. All right. And then what you want to do is you want to do a burn test. And these are things you can do at home. I hope I don't get my rubber glove on fire. I, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and smell that. Do you smell plastic or do you smell like uh, I hair? Sm I smell plastic. You smell yeah. plastic? Yeah, exactly. So what's that What you got is we've got a 100% nylon polyester fabric synthetic and you, when you first see the color you think that oh my Oops. gosh that's gonna bleed yeah. but if it's synthetic you can blast it you can do anything to it that you want and you're not gonna damage it so the smelling like plastic <laughs> means it's synthetic it means it's okay. synthetic exactly okay. now what we're gonna do is th I guess this is one of your ladies um, one, one of our, our producers chairs, yeah. one yeah. Of producers She's chairs two kids and I guess the reason we're, we're here so Janice could go to Disneyland today yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's our other producer, yeah. um, so what I've got here is we're gonna first, we're gonna put some upholstery pre-spray on this. And by using upholstery pre-spray, we're gonna be able to make those stains that are in the fabric there. And George is a professional, you don't have to be accurate. He just squirted that thing all yeah. over the place, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, if you want to take this horsehair brush, okay. I well, want Helen you to just that. rub it all over where the stains are and I'll hold the chair. Okay. Elbow grease, girl. Like right. here. All right. So mo most people would be afraid to get their, uh, their upholstery that wet, wouldn't they? Yeah, but we're going to extract it. That actually it. got some out already. So what do we have in this? While you're doing that, I'm going to extract it. <laughs> okay. Here comes. Hey, Carl, why don't you extract it? Extract Helen yeah, or just... extract the stain? Well, why don't you extract this where she's putting all, okay. the, all the moisture? I'm extracting, Helen. All right. And I think we're going to get a lot of that stain out. Now, everybody doesn't have one of these things at home, right? No, but you know what? With upholstery, it's one of those things that if the baby wipes don't work, you don't want to be messing with it because that's why 98% of your carpet cleaners won't touch it. Because right. what can happen is one of the companies, I'll go ahead and disconnect this, one of the companies that, that didn't know what they are doing out there, we went out to try to fix the job, they shrunk this. <laughs> George, you're so funny. <laughs> So the big key for people at home is the baby wipes and the hair dryer. Yeah, right. the baby okay. wipes and the hair dryer. And you know what? If I work on this, I bet I can make this chair Go look brand work. new. Go to work. But right now, I want to show you that chair that George was working on. Look. Looks, looks so good. It looks brand new. It took him five minutes. Very good, George. Excellent.